Hi, my name is Margaret. In this video, I want to introduce you to control structures. In Java, statements are usually executed in the order written. Here we talk about sequential execution, which means we execute one statement after the other as specified in your source code. However, sometimes we need a statement to execute even though it is not the next statement in line. Here we talk about transfer of control and for that we need control statements. Java provides a number of control statements that let us specify a certain order of execution. Before I go into details about the control statements that are provided by Java, I want to talk briefly about control structures. There are three control structures that are sufficient so that any computer program can be written with them. The three control structures are the sequence structure. This is the sequential execution of statement, one after the other, after the other, as specified in the code. The selection structure. Selection allows us to choose a path depending on a given condition. And the repetition structure. In a repetition structure, we can execute a number of code statements over and over again, or maybe zero times, depending on a condition. Let's look at the number one control structure, the sequence structure. This is built into Java. This is the default. Unless instructed otherwise, Java just executes one statement after the other as specified in the code. Here you can see the corresponding activity diagram. We execute one action after the other or one instruction after the other until we reach the end which is the final state here. The second control structure is the selection structure. Here, we choose a certain path of execution based on a condition. Java has three types of selection statements. The if statement, the if else statement, and the switch statement. Each of these statements has a corresponding activity diagram. Let's look at the if statement. I start, I reach a decision based on my condition, I execute some code or maybe not. In my if else statement, I start, I reach a decision based on my condition, I do one thing or another. And then I'm finished. Here, in my switch statement, I start, I reach decisions to be made. In a switch statement, I compare a variable to different values. And depending on the value of my variable, a certain path of execution is chosen. So here, I have a number of different choices, and then at the end, they merge. This is it. The third control structure I want to talk about is the repetition structure. The repetition structure allows me to repeat a code segment over and over again. In Java, we have three repetition statements. The for statement, while statement, and do while statement. They are also referred to as looping statements or just loops. By the way, there are two types of four statements or four loops in Java, but at this point I don't want to go into that. I do want to show you a corresponding activity diagram though. So this activity diagram here can represent a for or a while statement. 
we start, we initialize the control variable, and we keep repeating as long as my condition here is true. And then when this condition is no longer true, we move on to the final state to the end. At this point, we looked at different control statements corresponding to the three control structures. All of those are still fairly simple. However, they can be combined to represent more complex scenarios. We saw that each of the control statements can be modeled with an activity diagram. And each of those activity diagrams has an initial state and a final state. We can combine and connect control structures in two ways, by stacking and by nesting. So first, let's look at control statement stacking. It is easiest to visualize when you think of your control statement in form of the activity diagram representing it. So we can connect the entry point of one activity diagram to the exit point of another. Let's look at an example. Here I have a sequence statement and a selection statement. And I would like to combine those two by stacking them. Notice how I connected the entry point of my selection statement to the exit point of my sequence statement. So here you can see the sequence statement in blue, the selection statement in red, and there is a overlapping area where the entry point and the exit point overlap. This overlap is not needed in the diagram, so we're going to remove it. And the solution of my stacking looks like this. The second way to combine and connect control structures is by nesting them. So we can replace an instruction of a control statement with another control statement, or you can think of it replacing an action of an activity diagram with another activity diagram. Once again, let's have a look at an example. Here I have a sequence statement and a repetition statement. What I would like to do is to replace the central action in my sequence statement with the whole activity diagram representing my repetition statement. So here you can see the central action, the red colored action was removed. It was replaced by the whole activity diagram representing my repetition statement. So the last thing I want to show you is how you can use both stacking and nesting to combine control statements. I'm starting out with a decision statement. In my case, this is an if-else statement. And I want to combine it with a repetition statement, my loop, and with a sequence statement. The way I would like to do that is by nesting them. In my if-else statement, you can see two actions. I colored them in red, and I would like to substitute them. The left branch with a sequence statement, the right branch with a repetition statement. If I do that, I get a result that looks like the activity diagram on the bottom right. You can see the red actions have been substituted, so they are removed. Instead, I see a sequence in my left branch and I can see a repetition in my right branch of my FLS statement. Now I want to take this resulting activity diagram and stack it with a sequence statement. I would like to take my sequence statement first followed by my FLS statement. So here you can see the result. I have a sequence of actions. I reach my decision. 
depending on a condition I either execute my left branch which is sequential or I execute my right branch here is my loop my repetition statement where I keep looping until I'm done and then I reach my end this is it for now see you next time